During her long and much celebrated career, our first guest tonight has been the recipient of two Emmy Awards, a Guinness World Record, a Grammy Award, and more than two dozen restraining orders from Anderson Cooper. Despite that, they will share a stage again for New Year's Eve Live with Anderson Cooper and Kathy Griffin. It airs New Year's Eve on CNN. Please welcome Kathy Griffin. <laughs> How's everything? What are you doing New Year's Eve? New Year's Eve, I'll be um, watching. Watch. I will watch you. Of course, I will watch you on New really, Year's Eve. Really, that's interesting because I noticed last Friday on this so-called show, mm -hmm. you had a lady named Ryan Seacrest sitting in this chair. <laughs> I thought we were done with that, James. I thought we were done with that fight. I thought Anderson and I finally won you over. <laughs> we have a true alternative to Ryan and her nonsense and her big budget shows and stagery and probably being in some glass pope mobile while Anderson and I are out there freezing our balls off on a riser next to Univision. Well, the truth of the matter, if you want to know the truth, I'll be watching Carson Daly that night. But you know, <laughs> I watch everything. To us? I have many televisions, as you know. You've been to my home. I you know I have televisions of uh, I understand you're not human on. anymore. You're just a living television viewer. But yes. I want you to know I go to great lengths to get your viewership with Anderson Cooper. And I will try this year again to get him fired. You, for those who don't watch, it is, I have to say, it sounds like that's a joke. I'm sorry. When did you it, get here? I, I, it sounds like yeah. you're joking. Yeah. But you really aren't joking. In I'm on a, a way, mission. This is a terrible decision for Anderson Cooper yes. to make every year. Every he should year. not be a part of this no. show with you. No, it should be Kathy Griffin and Poppy Harlow. Um, or Jake Tapper or Wolf, you know. Yes. But no, Anderson falls for it every year. And um, every year I try to outdo myself and, in fact, harm him in some way, at least emotionally. It's been eight years now that yes, you've been Yes, eight doing years. This. And um, I've done everything from uh, try to simulate an oral act. Um, <laughs> on? On him. On Anderson Cooper. Although he was wearing so many layers of Ralph Lauren suits, he was fine, trust me. <laughs> Can you believe he actually shows up to the riser in, like, a designer suit? Well, what is he supposed to wear shorts? He's a male, he's a dumb male model. He doesn't know what he's doing. <laughs> and I do all the heavy lifting. And then one year, I actually, I actually took $5,000 of my own money, went to the bank, got 5,000 singles, and I wanted to make it rain. And I thought that was genius. Where? Until... In Times Square? What? <laughs> right? And then, like, in the commercial break, they saw me take out all this money. And then the police officer, because for some reason, um, Anderson actually has a police officer with him when I'm there <laughs> at all times, whatever, <laughs> drama. And so um, they stopped me and they said that if I made it rain, it would be dangerous to the 500,000, like, Norwegians that are down there because yeah. they're never, like, real New Yorkers. And um, then one year I had to actually give the check back because I said the F word live on the air globally. Did you, well, hold on a second. Did you oh, really? Oh, true. You yes. honestly had to I give. I had to give the check back. You they had said to give if, your paycheck yes. back to CNN. Yes. Really? Yeah. Because of that, is that in your contract? It, the only contract that I do that for is for CNN because I really do love Anderson, but they have this thing that says, um, if you say the F word on CNN, they don't have to pay you. And so I didn't care. And um, I had like a bunch of people dare me to say it anyway. So I, of course I did it. And then, but I did make them give the check to the United Way. So I said, you can't just get away with not paying me at all. So they gave it to a charity, but or at least told me they did. <laughs> so I is, there call a Aaron list, is there a list of words that you're not allowed to say? Well, it's the just... George Carlin, it's a typical list, but CNN being a you know, news agency, they particularly don't like the F word. And um, although last year I was very proud of myself because I um, snuck handcuffs onto the riser and I handcuffed myself to Anderson and I threw the key into the audience. And... <laughs> And Anderson really. <laughs> now, Anderson really didn't know yet. He had no idea you were going to do that. No, in <laughs> fact, he thought it was funny, honestly, for about 45 seconds. And an hour later, they had to actually, in fact, the, the same police officer had to get like a Jaws of Life thing. And um, I would not accept anything less than that. So. And so he actually cut the. Yeah, they had to cut it right there. Wow, that's yeah. going to be great. So, what yeah. do you, do you think, like, I've got to top this this year? Yes. 
Maybe I maybe I will stab Anderson Cooper yeah, I could at some stab point. Him, or I think call him shank it like Orange is the New Black. I could shank him. I could be crazy eyes. I mean, there's a lot of things I could do. Uh -huh. There's a lot of things I haven't done to him yet. So that's that's the world of possibilities does that you ever, need to know. Does he ever just say beforehand, he's like, hey, listen, don't do anything to me to this year, oh, please? Yeah. You should. I mean, over the years, he's like, well, first of all, I've gotten him beaten down like a pound dog on one of those Sarah McLaughlin commercials for the SPCA. <laughs> like he is. He's like a shaky little poodle when he sees me. And they've just hosed him down and he's all cold, wants to be adopted. And I'm like, next. But um, yeah, he used to like actually rehearse and we used to have dinner. And then he started lying. Like I've caught him lying, saying he's on vacation. And then he's like in the New York Times being photographed walking down the street in front of my hotel crying. Um, so yeah, he avoids me at all costs. And he comes up with some sort of highfalutin idea. Like, oh, I'm, you know, working on a big story about, you know, a big tsunami. And I'm like, yeah, like that happened and so it's a battle it's a battle we go through everything. I have to say I have to hand it to Anderson for continuing to do this year after year because he really it is a no-win situation for him. I take that as a challenge uh. <laughs> I feel that you have now issued a challenge to me as a comedian and an artist to take him down this year in a way that I never have before I, I would love for you to go crazy absolutely I will go crazy on him. that would be great like the heart song I will go crazy on him Maybe yeah. we can come up with something specific that... Um... Body part? Oh, well, you know, that's not really doing something to him if you... What if show... I chop his arm off? <laughs> I mean, very... Walking Dead is very popular. What if I'm like a walker and I just try to just do something in the brain and then see if he still lives? I mean, that people love that show. I, that's, I think now I... you're thinking, yeah, that's great. I'm an idea man. I can't apologize. You're also going to be... Um, the the host gonna... of Fashion Police. The sheriff of the Fashion Police. Yes. 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 This is a job that was previously held. Yes, this was a job that was held by our dear friend Joan Rivers. So I understand I have some very, very large shoes to fill. And so in her honor, I will not be holding back. I am giving no passes. I am going to let people have it. I'm going to bring the hammer down. And you might want to up your game. <laughs> In what way? You mean dressing-wise? In the way that I'm tired of the same suit every time. I get it. It's Gucci. It fits well. Yawn. <laughs> Give me some sparkle. Give me a fig leaf. I mean, take a risk, for God's sake. Don't just show up again looking nice-ish. I mean, give me some. Yeah, I know. Try to think of something. I'm not good at that sort but of thing. But people want it. <laughs> the people want it. They don't want it. They do. They want to see you in, a, in an Alexander McQueen ball gown. No, they want That's your paycheck. That's your paycheck. They want it. You know yeah. what I'm going to do? I'm going to pop up on New Year's Eve. I'm going to make out with Anderson Cooper right there on your show. Yes, How's you're that right. <laughs> Kathy Griffin is here. We'll be right back. On CNN on New Year's Eve, and yeah. um, you, I, I have to imagine that this is uh, a dream come true for you. You were on stage. You mean stage the moment that everyone's talking about? Performing. Yeah. With Britney Spears. That's right. You heard me, Britney Spears. The Britney Spears. Britney Spears, the um, singer. <laughs> we'll go with we'll go with singer. Anyway, she <laughs> she um, has a show in Vegas. Yes. And so uh, I went, and then um, I got to participate in the show. And I will be honest, there were some warnings from Team Brittany, and one of them was, "Do not look her directly in the eyes." <laughs> no, for real. Yes, which I've heard from your team for years, and I've always ignored. But I, you know, I know her a little bit. I mean, you know her better than I do, but I mean, I've met her since she was the naughty cheerleader. You know, I don't hit me think one more I time. know her any better than you. You know her. She's been here. She has been here, but I don't feel like I know her at all. Oh, are we going there? Because... I don't know if anyone really knows her. <laughs> saying, well, Did no, you spend I, any one-on-one -on -one time I with her? I wanted to because, because she does a song in her show called Freak Show, and it's a really fun show to go see. And she takes someone from the audience, and she makes them the, quote, victim. And you crawl around, and they said, you know, are you game for anything? And I said, of course. And then I got beyond the don't look in her eyes, and then I was determined to look in her eyes. And it turns out that they were pinwheels on fire. <laughs> so I did see them, and I, that's what it was. You learned your lesson. I saw that thought. Um, and it was, but it was, I wanted to talk with her and just say hi, and they honestly kept saying, like, no, no, she can't. 
I said, no, I mean, I'm just saying after the song, like, can I give her a hug or just say good to see you? And there's just a lot of nervous, like, no, not tonight. <laughs> so, so can we show the clip? I'm yeah, very let's proud show of this clip. moment. This is uh, uh, right. Las Vegas, Nevada, and uh, uh, let's go to the clip. Now, okay, there's Kathy Griffin. There I am. Right in the set, on the floor. Oh, with a leash. Yeah. What? <laughs> that was your part? Um... I, by the way, I just figured it out. What? That is what you should do to Anderson Cooper on yes. New Year's Eve. Yes. Yeah, I'm gonna go to this. Okay. 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 Okay.